Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome to another NGS matchup tonight featuring Hardstuck Support Group and FF and the Pancakes. If you're here early, I appreciate you. I hope you're here often. My name is Eternally Blue. Uh, free sharing Div E East. Uh, both teams right in the thick of it. Nowhere near the top and nowhere near the bottom. Uh, both teams with a couple dominations under their belt so far this season, and they're looking to continue that trend. Lobbies being made right now, as you can see, the bands for each teams are there on your screen. Looks like BOE and Braxis were taken out by the Pancakes, and then Hardstuck taken out uh, Tars Doom and Volskaya. But our first map tonight is going to be my favorite, as always, Infernal Shrines. Looking forward to seeing that. We got the light on, finally. The light's finally on. I found the remote. I moved to this damn house two and a half months ago, and I finally found the remote to get my Overwatch light on. So shout out to my old coworker, Mr. Tate. You're good shit, and I appreciate that. Anywho, enough about me. Let's talk about this game. <clears throat> Infernal Shrines. Um, see it on almost every single cast I do. It seems to be one of the most popular and most played maps in NGS, at least in the divisions that I cast, typically D and E. Um, so we're excited to uh, see how these teams play. Thank you for the follow. OG Geo. I still really like that notification thing. Appreciate it. Welcome. Welcome to the channel. Happy to have you here. Happy to be casting some NGS on this Sunday night. You know, there's no football on right now, so... Might as well watch some, some video games, right? Sunday night NGS? Why isn't that televised? Well, it is. Here, sort of. <clears throat> this is typically the uh, time I get to fill uh, the void of some clever banter. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't, I don't have much of that uh, tonight for you guys. I'm a little sleepy, but I'm hoping some exciting uh, matchups here tonight is going to wake my ass up. Lobby has been created. We are in there. We're going to throw my uh, link in here. You're welcome. You are welcome. Happy to do it. I love doing it. It's, it's something that I've been thinking about for a long time. And, uh, <laughs> and I'm ready to go. One team is already complaining about their own team, uh, actually. So we already have some internal rifts between the groups. Lobby being created, we're just waiting for one more player here, and then we will get started tonight. Let's see. Uh, hey, thank you for the follow, Bake J E. Oh my gosh, it's a very bright screen. There we go. Smack Loud is now in here. It looks like all names I can pronounce, which for me is a big help. We won't be stumbling over the names. All the gamers are entered the lobby. I'm going to let them know that the caster is ready. And we will uh, get rock and rolling here very shortly. Pancakes are ready. Just waiting for the all set from the hard stuck support group. And we'll get the show on the road. Hope everybody is having a wonderful night. Did I remember my drink? Nope. Maybe? 
Oh no, I don't know if I remember my drink. Thanks for the cast. Looking forward to watching the body. I did. I'm a genius. I'm so smart and pretty. <sighs> Great audio tonight. <laughs> Appreciate you guys. You guys are very kind. <clears throat> Alright, we're ready. Let's do this. Absolutely, Smackloud. Look forward to, uh, to having you come on by. Let's draft some heroes. It says Heroes of the Storm afterwards. Anyways. I have the best words. I'm a little tired. It's going to be a little messy tonight, so I apologize. Stumbling over myself, but regardless, thank you for the hundred pretty smack. Again, I uh, I appreciate the hell out of that. I'm putting all the money I get for this into a new microphone because this blue snowball has got to go. It is too sensitive. My computer tower sits right next to my mic. And it picks up everything. The first ban for FF and the pancakes is going to be on the Stukov. He's out of here. I don't remember the last time I saw Stukov in NGS. It's been a minute. And rightly so. Extremely strong right now. A good meta ban. For Hardstuck support group. Or Hardstuck. Or maybe just support group. I'm going to have to shorten that at some points. Johanna is taking out the meta tank. With the worst haircut. <laughs> just a personal preference. Just a personal preference. That's all I'm saying. The pancakes. Who you going with? What you do? What you gonna do? You gonna ban Rhaegar? I bet you're gonna ban Rhaegar. No. Lucio. Oh, they have first pick. They're not gonna ban Rhaegar. That's silly. They're gonna ban Rhaegar. Lucio taken out for the pancakes, and hard stuck. Quite surely, Rhaegar gonna be banned here. I'm not even a healer. I can play Rhaegar. Ta-da! I know everybody is shocked to their core right now that Rhaegar was banned. Unbelievable. What a weird targeted ban, right? No. So the pancakes have first pick. Is it going to be a tank? Will we see like a May taken? Are we going to see a Lee Ming? Does somebody really want Anduin? I've seen all kinds of random uh, first picks. I see a lot of Junkrat. Seen a lot of Orphea too. She plays a mean Orphea. <laughs> Coffee is still not the worst haircut. I mean, that skin that she had on, it's gotta be top five. <laughs> it's so it's atrocious, I don't know. I mean I really can't talk. My hair looks like a freaking wildebeest, but So the Orphea lockdown for the pancakes. Hard stuck. There you go. There's your junk rat. And the man. So the first tank of the books for Hardstuck, the May, very good point control. Junkrat's super irritating with the trap builds, or if he's just going to blow people everywhere and it's just going to look like carnage. Junkrat can do all kinds of crazy things. Meanwhile, for the second and third picks of the pancakes, we're going to see the tank bacon. And we see the stitches. Surprised not to see the Anduin combo with it, though. Instead, we're going to see the global, first global of the game with the Brightwing. I guess technically Junkrat could have a global. Is that considered a global? If he takes Rocket Ride? Probably not. He gets back very quickly, but it's not really global. Second round of bans. Hardstuck going to be banning here first. Going to be banning out likely a DPS or maybe helping their offlaner. Probably a Leo ban here if I was them. Nope. Welcome, Allie. We're actually going to see the Tychus taken out. So maybe we see a Deathwing coming in. Is this going to be a response? Uh, a ban response because of the Tychus? Do maybe they now ban the Deathwing? Maybe, it ha maybe, maybe none of this is related. Maybe it's just all a hunch. But I would ban the Deathwing. Instead, we're going to see Sonya taken out. So, 
<clears throat> offlaner band for the pancakes third and fourth picks now for the hard stuck support group if I'm hard stuck I'm definitely picking Anduin here now now that I see the enemy's got a stitches I'm already trembling because I, I stitches just gives me anxiety even when I'm not playing against them um, but also just a solid healer instead see something kind of different Lily. Really gonna mess with Orphea's ability to get her auto attacks out. Can mitigate really a ton of damage. Fine build. The dirty bathtub. So if I was hard stuck, I would have banned Leo instead of the Tychus here, unless this is a Deathwing. Um, so they have the dirty bathtub. Uh, Pancakes get the dirty bathtub. They take the Le uh, the Luna as well. He's got great mobility, great vision. Very uh, underrated hero in my opinion. You don't see her play it a whole lot. But she is extremely strong. And rounding out the team for Heart Stuck Support Group. Are we going to see something crazy? No, not really. Just a Hanzo. Kind of a double auto attack uh, out of Heart Stuck. You could you can argue that Junkrat's a bit of a mage, and I I wouldn't disagree with you. Dragon Arrow can be very oppressive on the points, especially in the, the chokes on this map. But it's going to be an exciting matchup regardless. I will see how many dirty bathtubs uh, are in stock tonight for the Pancakes. Game 1 between Hardstuck Support Group and FF and the Pancakes starts now. Hold on to your butts, folks. It's going to be a good game. We look at the portrait synergy across the board for both teams on par and on point. You love to see it. Anybody got a crappy PC? No. We're ready to in it. We're ready to play the video game. Let's do it. From left to right, we have Hard Stuck Support Group, Random Engineer on the May, Javdazi on the Lili, Omar playing Hanzo, Smackloud on Junkrat, and we have Tahaka being played by Cactopus. From right to left, we have FF and the Pancake Stampy playing Luna, Mr. G on the Brightwing, Grumpy Kitten playing a grumpy hero of Leo. Uh, X Y X G Y, and that's the only time I'll say his name, so I say it now on Stitches. And Courtney on her Orphea. We've seen it before, and we'll probably see it again. Game one. Let's A Ram, shall we? Let's see what happens. Vision going out on the bottom there, trap going in on the top. Both teams taking control of the bushes. Stitches second to the top, the hook is down. And uh, if that's me, I'm calling that out left and right. Hook is down, hook is down. Okay, cool now. Five, four, three, two, one. We're going to see another hook? Not quite. Pancake's going to be taking out the first wave and already positioned to go bottom. May throwing snowballs like Elf in the movie Elf. I have... <laughs> The wave clear by the Pancakes is superb. Honestly, from both teams. Very, very good. A lot of damage being taken by Luna. She's already at half health. Hanzo uh, deciding to go Redemption. So auto attack build from the Hanzo. You see Hardstuck rotating to mid. Let's see if the Pancakes are going to position themselves for this bottom camp. If I was them, you see the whole team go mid. There you go. They decide, alright, we're going to take this. The vision allows the tank to actually help clear the camp here. You see hard stuck on their camp here. And we're going to take a little bit of a, a gander at the top lane here. This battle between the Dahaka and the Leo. Leo's going to be going mid, double soak in there. Meanwhile, the Pancake's going to be pushing the bottom. Orphea going Q build there. You see the hyper shift of the bright wing. Nothing else crazy across the board. Uh, filthy onto death. From Leo. That's a lesser known talent taken. Courtney getting all up in their face. And rightfully so. Because uh, Heart Suck Support Group has essentially no CC. If the if they're not there, then and a really nice call just to immediately to disengage off the camp and just kinda run at them. Heart Stuck is at half HP across the board. Meanwhile, the pancakes are at full HP and they're angry. Not always a terrible decision, just to see what's all there, right? Just to give them a little poke and let them know that, hey, you gotta watch out, we're coming. Hard stuck trying to assort dominance, however. Pancakes are having none of it. They're full health. 
And do we have a gank coming on the top lane? No, looks like uh, Heartsucks and Pro Group gonna be taking their camp in a timely manner with the objective popping mid here in 30 seconds. We'll take a look at the high flying action that is camp taking here by Javi and Smackloud smacking that camp up beside the head. Bruiser camp just going down, just taking terrible, terrible damage. Meanwhile, on the other side, camp's being taken almost in identical timings. Both teams going to arrive here very shortly. Let's see what happens. Experience lead uh, basically favors nobody. A hook on the Hanzo, but no follow-up. Both teams doing their best to hit the monkeys. Five to five in the monkey total. It's a 4v5 right now in favor of the pancakes. You see Dahaka in the top lane still pushing that camp and also clearing the enemy camp. But this is where the action is, so we're going to keep it here. Pancakes now very in control of this point, 26 to 11. The maid dives in and is taking a lot of damage right away. Everybody's still relatively healthy for the pancakes. Hardstuck support group are trying to engage on this, but it's hard. A really nice May uh, wall comes out, and the first kill is going to be on the stitches, compliments of the Junkrat. And just like that, oh, is Grumpy Kitten going to go down to the bombs? Hansel's going in for the kill! No, he's got to back off. Omar diving and trying to secure that kill is unable to. Pancakes just need two more, and a good tongue there on the Luna, and the Luna goes down. But, thank you to the Orphea, Objective is going to be pushing for the Pancakes. So, while Heartstuck Support Group got two kills there, they lost the Objective, and now they're going to lose just a little bit of damage on their wall. Here. It's a Frozen Punisher, which can be very irritating to deal with. You see a gank potentially here on the top lane. Is a Polly going to come out? No, not quite. Oh, the hook! Unsuccessful. We're going to see how much damage we did here in the middle lane. Frozen Punisher. Took out the front gate, doesn't even get the first tower. Very good wave clear here out of both teams. Junkrat doing a great job. Grumpy Kitten soaking this bottom lane, and it looks like the Pancake's going to be pushing this top lane. But here comes the rotation. May dives in, gets a Blizzard out. Not going to hit anything, but more so just zoning teams out. A lot of damage being done, that Hanzo arrow. Uh-oh, and now Hanzo's in trouble. Great hook there. Junkrat unable to bop him away, and the Orphe is going to secure the kill. First kill for the Pancakes. XP lead goes to nobody. They're both very even right now. You see both offlaners in that bottom to mid lanes, and the Pancakes wise wisely deciding, uh, after seeing the entire Hardstuck team go mid, to push down this gate. But next objective is going to be up here, so not having this gate uh, and having a Stitches is going to be very, very good here for the Pancakes. This is a really good decision on their part. Shift coming down. Right wing is going to only get more and more irritating as the game goes on. Let's see if they decide to stay here and try to push down this fort. I don't think so. There's really not. They got three people defending. There's not really much you can do here. Hanzo has completed his redemption quest. He now attacks damn near twice as fast. In fact, yes, twice as fast. And once he gets that uh, percentage damage, that giant killer, that is going to be a pain in the butt. So camps being taken by both teams. They remember that those exist, and both camps can be taken by either team. <laughs> yeah, gee. Love the emotes. We have a five-man push here by the Pancakes. Their level, uh, slight level advantage. They got tens online. Going over it, we see the Eternal Feast and the Dirty Baths up there. You see Bile instead of Gorge from the Stitches, so that's why not the uh, the Anduin, because there's no Gorge pull. We see a gank attempt here on the Dahaka, but it's going to be unsuccessful. Good dodges by the Dahaka. Brightwing taking that blink, and the uh, Luna taking Leaping Strike. You see the Cups being popped here. Mate gets a wall out to peel out a couple enemy t uh, people. Enemy people? That makes sense. Meanwhile, the Pancakes are looking for kills. I'm not going to find any. So we just saw the May wall go out. We saw the cups. Isolation from the Haka, Riptire from the Junkrat, and Dragon Strike for the Hanzo. Both teams going to be taking their camps and rotating here to start this objective as soon as it comes up. It's going to come down to who can hit their combos, right? So May wall is not going to be quite up for this objective because I'm assuming their combo is going to be the May wall and the, uh, the Hanzo Dragon Arrow. Getting that trap out of the way. 
See a couple uh, a couple folks, the man, the Dahaka, soaking the bottom. They're trying to get a little bit of the XP lead. Dahaka does have that global, so he'll be able to come up here. Gonna come down to who can hit their combo. Do we see the Maywall Hanzo, or do we see the Dirty Bathtub? A hook on the Junkrat, and he's gotta get the heck out of Dodge, and he does, just in the nick of time. If, a, if the Brightwing had been there to poly that Junkrat, the Junkrat just dies. Again, basically no CC out of Hardstuck, so the Orphea is pretty much free to do all kinds of Orphea thing. And there's the Maywall, the Blizzard follow-up. Are we gonna see the Dragon Arrow here? No, but we're gonna see the Riptar. He's gonna hit two people in the back line. Dragon Arrow's a little bit late, and Pancakes are running for their lives, but a good leaping strike out of Luna. Orphea actually secures the kill on Junkrat. And the Pancakes take this 1-0 uh, victory as of right now. Pancakes also slightly head on the objective, 17 to 10. Hard suck we're gonna get as much as they can for value here. Are we gonna see the Entomb? Has the Entomb come out yet? Yes, it has. A good pull on the Leo. I don't think that's gonna be enough to kill him though. Oh, maybe I'm wrong, nope, maybe I'm right. The May is in there with no mana, but the Leo is very weak on the back line. Gonna need a shift as soon as shift is available. And another objective taken from FF and the Pancakes. Gonna be pushing this top fort. And this fort is dead. You just run. You let the junk rat poke from over here, and the rest of you guys get out of dodge. Because you don't want that hook. Oh, if the poly had come out again, I think the mage just dies. Orphea just kind of peeling off the back line. Completely uncontested. You see the bile coming out from the stitches. Maybe a little bit ambitious, trying to get the rest of the team stuck in the goo. Hook goes down pre-13, a jump onto the Junkrat, and goodbye Junkrat. And unfortunately, the May is going to go down to four hard suck support group. A really strong push here coming out from the Pancakes. You see both offlaners in the bottom lanes collecting as much soak as possible. Pancakes got a pretty sizable lead in comparison to the rest of the game. Uh, as far as XP goes, Shift is going to be coming down. Again, follow-up from the Orphea. Massive, massive damage. And the auto attack on the Orphea again is going to get killed. But oh no, that's a lot of tower shots. And the Orphea goes down. So she secures the kill on the Hanzo. But unfortunately, uh, was doing what the tank should have been. <laughs> taking all those tower shots. Was it worth it? Yeah. Yeah, it was worth it. You, you, can, you can give up that death at 13s. Meanwhile, we're going to see... Uh, FF and the Pancakes turn this map red. Or, one Junkrat Trap is gonna stop all that from happening. You gotta watch out for the Stitches hook, though. You gotta. You gotta be careful of this. Don't get hooked. Don't get hooked. Smack loud, I'm looking at you, friend. Please be careful. Okay. Oh, man. If that's my tank, he's sitting there hooking people for days. He's just fishing. He's just out fishing with his buds at that point, you know? They have some breakfast, they go out fishing. Grumpy Kitten. Showing some love. You see FF and the Pancakes taking that bottom camp. They're going to be taking the next camp. We're going to show some love to the offlanders here. Look at the muscles on this Leo. Look at the skin. Look at it. Is he going to pick up that orb? You got to pick up that orb, right? You're going to pick up that orb. It. Alright, we're watching the other offlaner now. <clears throat> the Dahaka. Catapus here in the top lane. Doing Dahaka things. Never mind, we're going to the action. Blizzard comes out from the main. Looks like the Pancakes are poised to take down this fort. They want it. They're going to have a camp pushing here. The hook comes out on the Hanzo. Is there any follow-up? No. Just a smidgen late on the follow-up. Is, is he emoting? What? Orphea gets her level 1 quest complete. Oh, no. I'm sorry. That was not her level 1. That was her level 7 quest. My apologies. Dahaka, uh, must be feeling a little itchy. He knows people are coming. Oh. Okay, he's out. He's out. Hanzo back to having his full stacks of redemptions. And my apologies, I missed the gank on the bottom lane. It looks like Leo going down here. And now, if you are Hard Suck Support Group, you want to take down this fort. And you got time. They don't know they have time, but they have time. You see, the Pancakes can be taking that top camp. Dahaka taking the other camp. Will we see an invade? This is done. They're not going to be pushing this anymore, are they? Are they? Are they? They are going to push it. 
Are we gonna see him invade? Yes, the Haka needs to give this camp. It's not worth your life. Leaping Strike coming out. Hits two of them on the, uh, from the Luna. Orphea going in. She's got, you know, no CC to worry about, so... Why not? Meanwhile, what's going on down here, folks? Heart Suck Support Group. Um, just kind of siege into their heart's content. The Haka has to clear two t camps on that top lane. And... I mean, we're gonna keep it here. You see, all the pancakes right now on the objective are gonna be taking that, and uh, the Leo goes down, and now here's the Orphea. Can the Orphea? Oh, the chop? Yes. Good chop. Eternal Fee's coming down, but it's gonna miss. Now it's just an Orphea against no CC to take him out. Shift is coming down. There you go, there's the blinds. A nice wall. The tire gonna hit two people there. Oh, what a wonderful dragon! And it's gonna kill the Brightwing, but Hanzo's gonna trade his life for it. The Lily about to go down. No, gets away thanks to the fast feet. However, their tank has been left out to dry and is gonna go down. So, what an interesting battle here in the bottom lane. Meanwhile, the best uh, wave clear in the game stitches on the objective for the pancakes. Gonna be taking this uh, Void Punisher. No, Arcane Punisher, that's the one. Collects his two orbs and says, Thank you, may I please have a break now? Grumpy Kitten, the offlaner here for the pancake, gonna be pushing this mid lane. Smack Loud, gotta be careful of the Entomb here. Oh, there's two juicy Entomb targets. You get that Lily, you get that Junkrat, and that just kinda ends the game. So, jump coming in on the Dahaka. At this point, that's what you want when you don't have your tank right now. A lot of damage going to be done to the keep. I don't think there's anything they can do to stop it. Oh, Dahaka taking a lot of damage now, getting stunned by the Punisher. Really unfortunate, but a great Maywall comes out. Are we going to have a follow-up from anybody? No, unfortunately, no follow-up. The Eternal Feast comes out on the bathtub. A lot of damage being done. Hanzo gets a kill on the Orphea, on the Leo. Hanzo going crazy, doing the best he can. Leaking Strikes going over the May. May is going to go down. And Luna is going to escape maybe with 10 HP. However, Brightwing... Not so lucky. Hardstuck needed to win a strong engagement there, and they did under their towers with the Immortal Punisher pushing. And now they're going to be able to get 20s in a, roughly about the same time. Oh, if you get a tongue on that Luna, that Luna just dies. Wisely deciding to give that up. Luna's going to go back and get some health. Now is the opportunity for Hardstuck Support Group to gain a little bit of momentum on the map. They need to get some lane prio across the board. They need to get some camps pushing. They need their 20s. And they need to win an objective fight. They're getting kills. They're getting kills across the board. Hans with 41,000 damage. The Orphea for the Pancakes at 52. A uh, ton of damage being done by both teams. We take a look at the talents here. All 20s online. You see the upgraded dragons, the upgraded cups, the upgraded contagions, cannonball from the junk rat. Nothing crazy happening on the map right now while we look at this. May is yet to pick. Um, you see the buried alive, so the silence and tomb, which is going to be really oppressive. You see the gift from the embalmer out of stitches, more feasting, invisible friends, and the intensified toxins. So Luna with a huge damage spike. Um, so you see this invade coming in from uh, from Hard Suck Support Group. Meanwhile, in the bottom lane, Fort going down. Meet me in the bottom lane. It's going down. Camping pushed, and a wise decision to then take out this fort from Hard Suck Support Group. However, if you are a Hard Suck. You want to be going back and defending this lane. Make sure that they're not pushing us. Because you can you can still lose another objective. You could make this game go 25 minutes. If you lose this other objective, at least you have a wall here to defend yourself. Thankfully, it didn't go top or mid again. Can't be taken out here. We're going to see the Luna Vision coming over. And we're on the Luna Vision dash cam. Look at the cute little wisp. It's got a face! I didn't know it has a face! It's adorable! Anyway... <laughs> Did you guys know it had a face? I didn't. 
We see both teams uh, heading down to the objective. Hardstuck got there much quicker. Camp going to be taken. That's going to really help some lane prior. Dehaka is going to be coming in behind, so he's going to push out that lane as much as possible and then head down to the objective. You've seen the combos come out. I said it was going to come down to who can hit their combos the most. So far, uh... What are they doing here? Nobody's really getting to objective. So far, you see the Pancake's been hitting more of their combos. But Hanzo... Hanzo is no slouch with that Dragon Arrow. He knows what he's doing. He knows where to put it. And you want to send it right through here. Good Blizzard coming out, hitting two members of the Pancake's. Bile coming out from the stitches. Gonna be slowing everybody down the back line. If you're the pancakes, or if you're heart stuck, you just need to back right now. But the Entomb comes out. The Dirty Bathtub is there. The Junkrat's caught in the middle. A lot of healing cups being thrown out. And Leo's actually gonna be the first person to go down. And now the Brightwing, and very suddenly, Heart Stuck support group finally taking a good fight. They got four down. Can they get the Orphea here? Hanzo's going in. He wants it. And he jumped the wall, and the auto attack is gonna be able to finish her off. And Core has been called. Hardstuck support group down almost the entire game are now have an opportunity to win it. They got to get through this keep and they got to get through the core and they have about eh, 30 seconds to do it. It's going to be hard, really, really hard for uh, for them to stop it, for the pancakes to stop this. Grumpy Kitten going to be coming back up. Um, the dragon actually doesn't do core damage, but that's okay. We, we all need to learn things. The Entomb comes out, but it just doesn't matter. The core is dropping. It's at 50%. No one else is here to defend for the Pancakes. And Hardstuck support group is going to be taking this. The Lili goes down, but it doesn't matter. They say, we can take our Lili. We're going to take the first game. Congratulations to Hardstuck support group. What a comeback. What an awesome first game. That was a young jock line. Which line? Am I familiar with that? phrase young jock looking at the damage hanzo my mvp there terrible terrible damage great dragon arrows good may walls setting it up um meanwhile the orphea and the leo combos they hit it they hit the combo at the end you saw the entomb come out you saw the feast come out but lily's cups the extra thirty thousand, or rather twenty thousand healing from the lily and that cups at the end was was pivotal i mean they had they had no interrupt for it. Lily just sat in the back, playing bartender, and was able to to actually heal through the eternal feast. So you see someone that plays a lot of Leo and uh, Orphea, maybe there's your counter. Looking at the towns across the board. Welcome, Bigsy. <sighs> Straight bile build from the stitches. We had to get uh, we got to get hard stuck there hard-earned point on the board. There you go. Trap build from the Junkrat. Nothing else crazy. Nothing really out of the normal. Jigo Giant Killer? Yep. What an awesome, uh, awesome game one. It was 9-9 nine to nine in kills uh, while that... Actually, it was 9-8 to eight kills in favor of Hardstuck before that last that last fight they wiped the whole team for the pancakes and then they did end up getting another kill I believe on the Leo at the end there off lane battle going to the uh, going to the, <laughs> the off laner with a global Dahaka not dying that entire game doing the most soak doing the most siege and being very oppressive in the back line meet me in the, uh, meet me in the mall it's going down young jock that's who that guy's okay I should know that. I grew up with that type of music. Not that type, but that that artist. Meanwhile, what an awesome game one. What a what a stellar game one. And let's see where we're going next. Something tells me we're gonna see a game three tonight. Cast of the pancakes before, and they don't uh, they don't like going down without a fight. Next map is going to be going to Tomb of the Spider Butts.
tomb of the spider butts. Spider butts, spider butts, does whatever a spider butts does. So lobby's been created, everybody's in here. I believe we are ready to rock and roll. Thanks, Allie G. I appreciate that. There was a little, so there was a little bit of banter back and forth. Very friendly banter. I'll, I'll, I'll say that straight out. It was very, very friendly banter between the two teams before this game, before Tomb of the Spider Queen popped here. Um, meanwhile, in this lobby, hey, you guys ready? Yep, you ready? Yep, let's go. So I feel the intensity just in the lobby has already ra ramped up a little bit. I think the pancakes are going to come out fire in here. A tomb of the spider butts. How come you don't see a lot of spider kings? Why is it always spider queen? I don't know. Anyway, what else is banned first? But the Stukov. Out of the pancakes. Excuse me while I yawn through while I'm talking. The first ban for Hardstuck support group is gonna be, gonna be, gonna, gonna, gonna be the Johanna. And uh, Hardstuck Support Group must have a pretty good Lucio. The respect ban in both games from the Pancakes. And meanwhile, I'm going to guess a Rhaegar. No? No. Yeah, okay, they're, they're just letting them sweat it out. They're like, oh, are we going to get Rhaegar? Are they going to ban something else? <laughs> nah, they're going to ban Rhaegar. Case closed. Case closed. No Rhaegar for you. For yeah, I would do that too. Orpheus was running wild against no CC. Uh, in the last game, did, did a terrible, terrible amount of damage to hard stuck support group. I think it's a good first lock. Because queens make the baby spiders. Not without a king. Oh, I guess that's not true. I, hear the call. I guess that's fair. Artanis and the Zebo. Uh, picked up by Tanky King the Wizard! Thank you for the holy. I gotta get out my fucking monocle to see how many months that is. 15 months in a row. I appreciate you, man. Thanks, thank you. Only the Spider King is from Paw Patrol. <laughs> That's awesome. You see a global picked for the Pancakes and the Arthas. A very strong combo, especially if you're going to go with the auto attack build from Orphea. An Arthas and a Brightwing. Uh, she's going to be doing basically uh, bonus damage across the board on anything she hits. Meanwhile, you see Hardstuck um, going to be banning the Rhaegar and... Or, sorry, the Ragnaros. And they took the Zebo and Artanis. So... You know, I, I've talked about this a little bit. I'm a huge fan of heroes that are online at level 1. Orphea, online at level 1. Brightwing, online at level 1. Um, Arthas takes a little bit. But Nazebo is a late game hero on this map. And if you get down early, you're going to really struggle in the late game because you're not going to have any, any lanes to be pushing. The May band out for the Pancakes. Artanis can be a late game hero too. If you don't go reactive parry or don't get value out of your amateur opponent and you go stacks, if you're not stacking, you're the, the clock is ticking. Because eventually you get hit level 20, you're going to have 150 stacks and you're not going to do a damn thing. Thanks for the follow, Giggle Smack. Oh, Lordy, we got a diva. The Diva and a Lili again picked up in favor of Hardstuck Support Group. 
So Diva Bomb, basically saying, don't try to take a boss on us. You know, we know you got your Orphea, little Eternal Feast thing, but I have a bomb. So maybe consider your life choices. And we got some spice. Love seeing a Maeve. And also the Leo again taken out of Grumpy Kitten in favor of the Pancakes. Rounding out the team, uh, they don't necessarily need a tank. They got Double Bruiser, uh, double bruiser right? So we might actually see a reactive Perry Artanis, the Diva Offlaner, and we're going to see probably some sort of auto attacker here. Is it going to be Hanzo? We'll see. We're going to find out in a hurry. No. So you have a super chonky team from Hard Suck Support Group. It's, they're going to be hard to kill. A lot of self-sustain, a lot of self-healing. Ice block on the board. But, but what the pancakes have, yet again, is an incredible wombo. A very, very strong entomb into an Orphea, into an Arthas Freeze, and into a Mave Cage, and it's it's just all bad. Like, it, it just... Once, once, uh, once pancakes gets level 10, you don't want to be anywhere near them. Anyway, game two on Tomb of the Spider Queen. It's gonna start. All right, now from left to right we have our home team in blue tonight. Heart sucks support group. Random engineer on the etc. Smack loud on the gazebo. Omar playing diva. Catapus doing a little spin, doing a little dance. You look good, Catapus. You look good playing Artanis. And Javi on Lili. From right to left, we have FF and the Pancakes down one game to nil. Mr. G on the Brightwing. Courtney playing Orphe again. Grumpy Kitten on the Leo again. Arthas being played by XYXGY. And Stampy playing the Mave. Cage Feast says Giggle Smack. I think so. Game two starts right now. Let's ARAM. Who's going to check the bushes first? Oh, they gave them all thumbs up. <laughs> I love it. However, time for playtime is over. Blows are being exchanged. Damage is being dealt. Arthas is already caught and at a half HP. A great maul catches two people in the wall. However, Orphea is just kind of running wild. Cactus was at about 25% HP. Hyper carrying Azebo. It's it's kind of a hyper carrying Azebo. You see him going spiders. Um, you do see the stacks out of the Artanis. We're going to keep an eye on that. The Orphea's got a little bit more CC to worry about. ETC is not fun to play an Orphea into. Are we going to see the first pick here? Potentially. On the Mave. She's got no escape. The wall's coming out. It's going to trap his own ETC in there. And she is going to be able to just get away. Shift comes down. Maybe not on the right target. But. I'm going to take a look at the top lane here. Nazebo is going to be running back and forth like a madman. Trying to get as many stacks as he can. That is the third time he has trapped his ETC in his own wall. Nazebo, friend. Are you playing for the pancakes? What you doing? What you doing, bud? A lot of thick bodies for Orphea to combo off of. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be easy to hit those Qs. And you see her going Q again. Once she gets percentage damage, it could be really oppressive. We're going to take a peek in the bottom lane here and see how this camp is going to get any value. Oh. Little miss. But the auto attack, man, it does a lot of damage. Orphea, as I keep saying, online at level 1. Not a lot going on up here. You see the Arthas in the top lane, maybe chasing down a Zebo. You see Hardstuck getting their uh, bruiser camp there, right? Yes, I know which one that was. First tower going down the gate is still uh, taking quite a bit of damage thanks to this, thanks to this camp. This guy down here is kind of invisible. No one really seems to see him, but he's just kind of taking down the gate. And, and Omar has just been kind of walking back and forth. Anyway. Gonna take a look at the top lane here. We got the spell shield camp, the bruiser camp. Gonna be pushing this middle lane. Are they gonna get any other value on the wall? Probably not.
It does seem like there's a lot going on right now, but really there's not. We're going to see a swap come out. No, just misses from the Artanis. ETC slides, comes out, hits the Arthas. Doesn't think anything of it. Meanwhile, both teams just trying to avoid each other. Just trying to collect their spider butts, turn in their spider butts. ETC being irritating. That's what ETCs do. He plays music, and it's like it's like rock music, but like it's always not everybody's favorite. And you see the first couple of gems going in here for both teams, 13 to 14. Both teams do have turn in. Let's see who's going to be able to capitalize it first. And it looks like the pancake's going to be taking this camp, then looking to be turning in now. Do you recognize that everybody's missing if you are hard stuck support group? This Arthas is all alone. This should be the first kill of the game right here. He is on an island. Is Naz going to be able to get there in time to get a wall off? Is he going to get it in front of him? No, he walls the wall instead of the hole. Oh no. I was like trying to repair a dam and sticking a piece of gum in it. It's just not going to work. But that's okay. There will be more walls, more opportunities. It is a good Nazebo map. You just got to get him stacked. He's just got to get there. ETC trying to stop the turn in. It's going to be unsuccessful. And the FF and the Pancakes are going to be getting the first kill and the objective from the ETC. Smack loud going down. Nazebo is dead. Artanis has no mana. Is the Maeve going to go in and try to rope them all out? No. No rope a dope coming out. This Artanis has no mana, is unable to swap. But he has tapped. Let's see if he can get the Arthas there. Yep. Maeve going in. Looks like uh, FF and the Pancakes are going to be going top to push this lane. This is the lane I would be pushing. It's the most important lane because it is the boss lane. So you see all of Hardstuck support group in that mid and bottom lanes. We're going to see how much damage the Pancake can get done here before they are contested. You see Nozebo slowly on their way top. The Pancakes are full level head. So they're going to hit 10s first and going to be able to do something with it too. A good slide coming out on Stampy, but the pull comes out from the Maeve, gets two people. Hardstuck taking a lot of damage, a good polymorph from the Brightwing, and that's going to be able to secure the kill on the Artanis. Good coordination there from the Pancakes. And you could tell, even in the lobby, that they were a little bit angry about that last game, and it's showing. They look like they're aggressive, they look like they're making decisive actions, they're taking good fights, and now they are going to hit level 10s while Hardstuck is going to be still level 8, unless I'm being made a liar. Alright, well, they're one level ahead, but sometimes that's just enough. Camp being taken on the bottom in favor of the Pancakes. Meanwhile, Arthas, uh, double soaking. I guess. Look at him go. <laughs> Four people in the mid lane here for the, the, the Hardstuck support group. And it looks like they're trying to look for a fight, but my god, you do not want to do that right now. You're not 10s! You're not 10s! What are you doing? They're just going for it! They know it's a 4v5, there's no tank, but the Leo gets an Entomb, and there's the cage, and there's the feast, and just like that, it's a massacre! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Are they going to get the kill? Yes. It's a complete team wipe down 10s. They thought they could do it even though it was a 4v5, but the Orphea and the Leo combo was too good, and then the cage around it. Holy crap. What a mistake from Hardstuck Support Group. Meanwhile, they're all up. And here comes ETC trying to push them off of this fort. Looks like they're going to be able to do it. And uh, I think Tens was called. You see the Artanis in the top lane there. You see three people in mid and someone in the bottom lane collecting soak. Now they're Tens. Now let's take a fight. Unfortunately uh, for them, the Pancakes have macroed well. Got uh, their camps. They got the objective. And now they're going to be pushing uh, be pushing some keep walls here for sure. This fort is going to die. Or maybe it's a bait. Maybe all they want is a top. It's eight kills to nil in favor of the pancakes. What does FF stand for? It stands for, uh, I know what it stands for. You can ask him later. <laughs> it stands for, uh, flying friendship, let's say. Swap coming out from the Artanis, not gonna connect on anything. It's a 5v3 right here. Another tomb comes out. Here comes the feast, and Cups has popped this time, and that's gonna be able to keep them alive this time. 
even though it's a 3v5. Oh, Artanis is in really deep. It's going to get pulled back even farther. You see the blinds coming out, but here comes the Mave Cage. Really nice positioning out of the Nazebo to get a ton of damage with that Ravenous Spirit just to kind of poke everybody off. Oh, and here comes the Mave. <laughs> Says, get out of here. Let's see if boss is called here. Oh, the swap on the Leo. Leo gonna be able to get away though. ETC unfortunately missing his mosh. Mave Cage not uh, not up yet. Oh boy, Heart Suck in a really bad position. They're fighting down a talent here again. And this is gonna be another kill. The Entomb comes out and uh, it's a massacre. It's a massacre. They're chasing 3v5. They can't do that. Can't do that, friends. Not when you're playing as well as the pancakes are. Orphea wants more. She's hungry for blood. Getting the auto attacks. Getting the E off. You see, ETC is going to be completing his quest. Um, small victories, I guess. Because uh, Pancakes are poised to win this game. They're doing everything right. They're fighting up Talenteers. They're macroing well. They're getting their camps. They're pushing the objectives. Heartstuck Support Group has yet to take an objective. Has yet to get a kill. Has yet to get a kill. It is 11 to 0 right now. Look at the damage being done by the Sorfia. I'm going to I'm going to go out on a limb and say when this goes to a game th if this goes to a game 3, uh Orfia is going to be banned next game or at least the Leo. You got to respect ban one of these. They're hitting every single combo. So Heartstuck Support Group, uh, popping objective here just to help, I think, alleviate some of the pressure that this boss is going to be putting out. Are we going to see another Entomb Orphea combo here, though, underneath this tower? It's just crazy enough to work. However, if you are the Pancakes, and you've been doing this well all game, and you see them backing off, they're not 16s. They can get 16s and then take a fight. Do I have any mods in the chat that can ban that person? Oh my gosh, and that person? <laughs> what the hell? If not, I will ban it afterwards. Meanwhile, uh, objective for Heartstuck Support Group, getting a little bit of value, getting this bottom wall, getting a little bit of damage down on the fort. We see uh, the Mosh coming out, and this is going to be the first kill, thanks to the Diva. Everybody's pressing R. The cage is out, the feast is out, cups is down, the, uh, the blinds are coming out. Nobody's dying, but nobody's also close to dead. Until... this kill... Oh, the Diva, the triple shot gets the Mave and the Orphea, and there's gems everywhere for the pancakes. Oh man, it looks like a looks like half a dozen dozen eggs got dropped onto the floor, and shells were just scattered across. And this is what Hardstuck did last game. What is going on with all these bots in my chat? What the hell? Um, this is exactly what Hardstuck did last game. They took. They took one good fight and just won the game. And you see they're putting pressure on this keep. Maybe a little bit more ambitious than they need to be. The Entomb is going to hit uh, only the Lili. And I think that was more just to scare them off. You see Naz completing a spider quest at level 1 there. This is ambitious. Don't do that. That's... Okay. You're still down 16s. Hardstuck doing a good job trying to claw their way back into this, but someone needs to respond to this before it goes down. That's too late. This is that's that's a big blow. Yeah, there she goes. There she goes again. Let's take a look at this bottom lane. They're down 16s again, and the pancakes are are always on top of this. They know when they're up with talent here, and there goes the Lily. So. Maybe a bit overzealous out of Hardstuck. It's all about small victories uh, when you're trying to come back. They tried to take this, and meanwhile they did take that camp. They lost their top keep, and they lost their Lili now. And now, FF and the Pancakes are only seven away from getting an objective here and potentially winning this game. Diva's got to be careful not get stunned CC'd. Or Diva, rather, not Lili. Diva's <laughs> Lili's dead. Yep, we see, uh, see sevens being capped. There's seven more gems being picked up, rather. Just need one more. And all the spider butts are going home. 
Going to the eggs. So everybody's back up. It's a 5v5 right now. Let's see if this ETC is going to be able to get a mosh out. Not quite. He is going to be turning in here. It looks like the pancakes are going to try to turn in. Both teams are trying to turn in. They both have enough. Only need five more, or rather four more. I can't do math. I'm bad at math. Don't listen to me. Caster's wrong. Each team just kind of poking each other. Seeing if they can catch someone out of position. Not really finding anything, though, on either side. ETC is just jamming out on their faces. Ooh, that could have been a big slide. He decides not to go for it. There really is no panic button aside from the Lili ult. Diva's is still out of her mech. And very un uh, dramatically, FF and the Pancakes are going to be turning in with huge lane prio on the top. They got three catapults on top. They got two on the bottom that just got cleared out. And here come the spiders. Here comes the spiders. Naz is late game. He is. And how is he doing on the stacks? 172. That's incredible. That's actually really good. But, like I talked about earlier, if you have 150 stacks with the Dartanus at the end of the game, you're going to be struggling to do some damage. And I think that's what we might see here. So FF and the Pancake going to be pushing down this wall. They're going to get their 20s first. They just need to not die. The objective here doesn't, doesn't end the game. It doesn't get a ton of value. It just basically keeps the enemy team from progressing any farther on the map. Just essentially keeps lane prio. A little bit of damage done here. That uh, gate gonna be taken out. Are the pancakes gonna try and uh, force a fight here under this tower? We'll see. Leo's there. Oh, ETC is looking to ult maybe? And he doesn't need to. He doesn't need to. The is gonna die. No! Brightwing too good. The Orphea comes out with a feast underneath the Entomb. No one has died yet. Cups is too good. Cups is too good. And they're not 20s yet, but they want to take this fight. Diva's bomb coming out, and the Brightwing's going to be the first person to go down. Diva. Oh, gets a kill! The greatest Diva play I've ever seen! Gets the triple shot at 1 HP, gets back into the mech. Oh my goodness. Great damage being absorbed there from Courtney. But D.Va is going to be able to finish him off. No, he's not. Oh my gosh, the Arthas escapes with one HP. Orphea, meanwhile, soloing this D.Va. He, he, she's doing it. She's just soloing the D.Va. Then now the D.Va goes down and drops so many gems. Meanwhile, the boss is up. But I don't know if they're going to be able to do it right now. No, the, it's been called off. Are they going to be able to get this with some damage still on it? Someone auto-attack it. Nope. All right. Wow, what a what a crazy sequence. Nobody's going for boss. The diva down. I think you boss here. Everybody's up. The brightwing's got a global. What's the call? You see, hard suck support group has a turn in, but they're down twenties and they wisely come off this camp. Oh, Catapus, my friend, you live a dangerous life. So the pancakes are a long way off from another objective turning, right? And they're going to be going up to bait the boss. Or they just do the boss. The beauty of this is, yeah, that's the call. The call is go hard on boss, because this ends the game. This is their win condition. But here comes the ETT, and he's going to need the mosh of his life if he's going to want to keep his team in the game here. The Entomb comes out just to block the wall. And the boss is going to be secured. So let's see if a fight's coming out. Yes, we do see the mosh coming down. The Feast coming up over the top of the mosh. The Brightwing's going to be the first person to go down. Another great slide to get the, uh, the Stampy, the Mave, in the back line here. But the boss is charging. They have to finish this fight, and they have to finish this early. The boss is just going to win the game. The Orphea is going to be going down. Hardstock support group cannot give too many of their lives here for this. 
Oh, the Diva Bomb! Secure the kill on the Arthas. Meanwhile, boss do be bopping that core. Boss not strong enough yet to take this down. And really good wave clear out of Heartstuck support group. Gonna take a little damage on the core, but it's not game ending. Heartstuck says, you guys can win 1 through 20. But after 20, it's our turn to shine. It's hard stuck support group's time. We get our level 20s, we win game. And even though they're down immensely more structures than the pancakes are, they seem to be in control of this game. Right now, they're hunting down this Leo. Yeah, Leo's gonna have to scoot scoot out. ETC known as the best uh, camp clear in the game. Gonna be taking this bottom camp. <laughs> Arthur says, or uh, Artana says, hang on, I'm coming. Uh, let, me, let me give you a hand there, buddy. Arthas, back up now. Gonna take a look at the stack total. 228, 229 out of the Zebel, only 170 out of the Artanis. Hardstuck support group is gonna be getting this objective. And if they win one good fight here, that could be it. All they need is one good fight to win this game. A swap comes out onto the Leo. The Leo gets out, but not before taking half his health and damage. Heartstuck support group gonna be pushing this bottom lane. That diva is a pain in the ass. Oh my gosh. Look at all those shots coming out. Just a crap ton of damage. Let's see who gets the engage first. The Mosh is gonna come out. The Feast over the top. The Entomb comes out and silences the ETC. The ETC's down. The Leo is down. Maeve's ult misses everybody. A lot of damage being done. No one quite dying yet. The Brightwing gets a tap out. The Diva triple shotting people to death in the back line. She doesn't even need her mech. I don't remember the last time I saw a Diva in her mech. The Arthas is going down. The Orpheus is going down. And now an amazing swap of the Brightwing! Is that gonna be a kill of the Brightwing? She's gotta run for her life! The, the wall comes out and is gonna get the Maeve. The swap comes out from the Artanis. And the Maeve just... Oh! The Diva! The Diva does it again! Oh my god! I've never seen so many triple shots! And now I think that's it! I think that was the one good fight! It's hard stuck dung again, the comeback of all time! A Tomb of the Spider Queen, they just core to hit! Three people are down yet for FF and the Pancakes, the Entomb is gonna hit the D.Va, and the D.Va's not in her mech, so that might be it for her. Nope, she gets back in! The core is dropping fast, 50%! Artanis blinding the rest of the team, 20%! And hard stuck support group with the greatest comeback I've ever seen! Wins the game, 2-0 domination over FF and the Pancakes! Holy crap. Well, I told you to hold on to your butts. I hope you did. <laughs> what a game. Oh my gosh. Congratulations to Hard Suck. We're going to take a look at the talents here. Take a look at the numbers across the board. I'm going to pull in... Uh, I'm going to pull in their captain. And uh, we will we will talk a bit. Let's see here. Wow, what a match. Lily and her cups winning the game. What's up, dude? Oh, hello. How you, uh, how you feeling? Oh man, nail biter! Holy time. crap! I mean, they had us in the first half. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was that was exciting to watch. That was exciting to cast. That was that was just an awesome. Let's, uh, I mean, let's start with the first game, I guess, right? So, Infernal Shrines. Yeah. And, and just a, a general overall statement. It seemed like levels 1 through 20, you guys were like, that can go to... Thanks again for the cast from Hard Stuck Support Group. Thanks, SmackLoud. Appreciate that, man. Uh, it seemed like 1 through 20, you said, okay, you know, FF the Pancakes, you can win all those fights. You can have all the objectives. You can have all the camps. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. But once you get to level 20, you're not going to win another fight. And that was pretty much the theme in both games. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, we have some work to do from a macro perspective, it looks like. Um, last week, we played against Regen Rebels, and they kind of 
hit us with a few wombos. So um, we were planning to be a little bit more organized in our team fights this time, and I think it kind of showed in the end. But obviously, what we were lacking was um, macroing camps at the right times and things like that. They kind of just had us um, on our back feet, and we were just kind of responding for a lot of the game until we got those uh, those big team fights. So yeah. Yeah, and. Um... You know, I'm not going to be the, the person to sit here and be your coach because I'm sure you have a coach to coach. But uh, I, I may have been commenting, guys, you don't want you don't want to fight down tens. Guys, you're down tens. I know it's a four v five, but guys, you're down tens. And then about 15 seconds later, there was blood on the floor, and I was crying. Um, <laughs> second match, right? Was that second yeah, match? Yeah, that was first match that was the spiders. Yeah. No, I was on spiders. Yeah, so I mean, we saw them as four down there. Yep. I mean, that was yep. my terrible call. I, I, saw, um, I saw what you saw. It, it it's didn't okay. Work out, so. Yeah, yeah. N note to self, you know, we haven't been practicing a lot this week, so I'm going to tell the team, um, you know, time to stay up till midnight plus and let's do it. Yeah, the um, that was a quick match. You guys you guys got plenty of, the night is still young. Um, I know I like to always go over the replays with my teams afterwards and just kind of laugh at the things that we did. Um, and it always helps too when you, you've dominated a team. Um, that uh, the Leo Orphea combo combo in both games especially on on infernal um didn't miss very much and i, I kind of yep. made a note to myself that uh lily seems to be the best counter to that i've ever seen yeah yeah can't can't thank our healer enough for popping those uh cups at the right times um definitely like last week as well i was etc in a couple matches and the tacitor just kept walling us off so um kind of learn from that against the leo at least for the etc to try to slide through it but yeah they were they were definitely hitting their their wombos when it mattered so it was painful yeah and then the second game too they said okay well that wasn't working now let's get a mave cage around the entomb around the internal feast and still lily was just back there basically throwing out throwing out drinks all night and uh everybody going home happy um and i, I can to javadezi yeah yeah she's she's, she's she, killing it it's it's a guy. It's it's our buddy. Yeah, he's he's doing well. Awesome, yeah. That was that was awesome to, to watch. Um, I, I'm jumping all over the place here. My my mind's going a thousand miles a minute, as I'm sure yours is, is too. But uh, my MVP the uh, game two, easily the diva. Yeah. Um, Omar played out of his mind in the pilot. I I've never seen such a value. I mean, obviously you know the pilot does more damage. Okay. Yeah. Um. But some of the last shot kills that he got, like, literally double kills as well. I mean, he's top DPS with the pilot. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's just an incredible value. Great game from him. You guys won... You guys took a... Was that a 3v5 on boss and ended up winning that? Yeah. I mean, you know when they usually take boss, oftentimes they're hurting a little bit mana or health. So. Uh-huh. Um, we knew we had to push the issue somewhat there, um, and so I knew I had Mosh up and available. I think they whiffed on the Entomb that time, um, luckily. <laughs> uh, so we kind of got them in a little bit of a choke. I mean, the Mayav kept slipping out everywhere, so props to the Mayav. Did that a couple times. Um, but yeah, just, just had to force and turn something, and then we knew we had double turn in at the end, so that was our, our pushback, but um, we got that one team fight, and I guess we didn't need it. Um, thanks to my team for staying alive. Um, <laughs> I obviously uh, fell. Um, you had you had some really great moshes there at the end, and it, it, so it's funny you mentioned that boss fight and missed the uh, missed in tomb. He did not uh, miss the in tomb, and when he walked oh. back, you're, you're gonna. It looked like the right play at the time because what he actually did is he walled off your side of the bush. So if you were to right. face check that bush, you weren't going to be able to get actually in to even see the boss. Uh, but the timing was just a little off, and then you guys were able to walk in there and do your thing. Fair enough. So uh, I like the idea in theory, but at the end of the day, uh, it didn't unfortunately work. And wow, I'm just looking at the Orpheus numbers right here. 105,000, literally double the DPS for anybody else in the game. Out yeah, of the insane alt when we got caught in that, so that hurt bad. That hurt a lot, and then you had the synergy with the Arpha slows and the Brightwing slows and the Poly. I mean... They, they built around yeah. the Orphea, and it really showed. And somehow, again, Lili just, I keep coming back to it, Lili popping cups, just kind of winning the game. Amazing. Um, yeah, an excellent, excellent match to watch. Super fun. Um, congratulations to you guys. They uh, The Pancakes were on a streak of, of dominating, and uh, you guys probably knocked them down 
uh, to reality a little bit. Um, yeah, I mean, so they were a solid team, and um, again, they had us on the ropes for a lot of the match, so um, you yeah. know, can't take them lightly. Um, definitely wanted to come out and get a W here, though, so happy to take it home and um, climb those power rankings, hopefully, right? That's yeah, what it's all absolutely, about. yeah. You know, check, uh, check ESPN in the morning and see, see where everybody sits, <laughs> see who's gone up and gone down, <laughs> and... Uh, Anyway, that's all for me. Uh, you got any shout-outs, questions, concerns, uh, anything you want to mention to the guys? Uh, yeah, shout-out to the wives watching the stream, you know, friends and family around the world. Don't know how many viewers you're at now, but I'm sure it's, you know, in the thousands. Oh, millions. Uh, millions here, friend. I mean, shout-out to the entire team uh, for bringing it all together, uh, putting up <laughs> with my crap. And, uh, you know, shout-out to the opponent, put up a great match, and, uh, you know... We'll have to get some scrims against them again to uh, practice up. Hell yeah. Well, thanks for your time, Random. Uh, good luck with the rest of your season. I'm sure we will see you again soon. Sounds good. Thanks for casting. Much appreciated. Absolutely, dude. Later. Take care. Bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to be it for me. Congratulations again to Hardstuck Support Group. Um, a 2-0, very technically, you got to call it a domination. Um but when you watch the games, boy, it didn't feel like that. I mean, the pancakes were right there the entire time, winning the, winning 20 minutes of the 21-minute game. But in that last minute, um, they got a little bit of mom spaghetti on them, and they just let it slip. So, uh, again, congrats to Hardstuck. Uh, great games to FF and the Pancakes. It was a really fun series to cast, and I appreciate all the support that I've gotten from all you guys. And for Smack Loud again, thanks to the ten biddies or the thousand biddies rather. I appreciate that very much. Uh, I try to put as much effort as I can into these, and I try to give you guys a good experience. And I hope I do you justice. Thank you to uh, Nexus Gaming Series and for all that they do putting on these seasons. It's a lot of work. There's a lot of behind the scenes uh, that gets done. Um, so thank you to them. Thank you to again both teams and to all the fans that are here uh, watching us tonight. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful night, and we will be back uh, again soon. I'm not sure when my next cast is, but I'm sure it'll be this week. So stay tuned. Thank you guys. Take care. <laughs>